Good morning, friends of Villa Farmers. It's the end of spring. It's Void's birthday. I don't know quite about that, but uh, we'll do what we can today out there. We got almost all of the um, the bugs we needed for the Juicy Bug quest. So that's, that's good. I need like five more. We should be able to get that uh, just visiting Krobus, I think. And... Uh, the moment of truth is upon us with the uh, the mine uh, the wine quest here. See if that's up. Okay, Queen of Saws is a new one. Lucky lunch. An old legend has it that this meal is irresistible to spirits of luck and fortune. After consuming it, you're likely to attract a good spirit into your belly, where it will bless you with good fortune until the meal is digested. Sounds weird, huh? Can't say I believe it, but the meal is delicious nonetheless. Okay, good. Uh, spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Well, that's probably just as well then. My, my stuff isn't done yet. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> oh boy. It's uh, it's going to be a tight one. What do we have for mail? Uh, oh, Clint. Clint made one bar too many. Thanks, Clint. That was thoughtful. Uh, right, okay. I kind of have like everything I need here. So I've got that chest of extra stuff. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Okay, we've got a bunch of uh, yeah, a bunch of things I should go plant. Seventeen more jam. Okay, what do we have here? Spicy berry, apple, and peach wines. <laughs> you know, it's still just holding out that maybe I would end up processing one of the things I was looking for. <laughs> Please, no. That's fine. Okay, let's dump off some things. So we got peach wine, apple wine, spicy berry wine, uh, jellies, crafting stuff. I mean, we've got more crafting stuff than I possibly know what to do with, but whatever. Deluxe coop, big barn, beach, town, farmhouse. Okay, so let's dump out whatever we have in here. I don't know, I'm just not even really looking. I don't have any fish, do I? Oh yeah, crab. Okay. Um, that's looking good. Now, let's go check out the greenhouse. Guess we should get those beans. Shouldn't just leave them there. Oh, we got some of our poppies in. Nice. Okay, um... Oh, outside farm. There we go. So, let's put down... Yeah, okay, so this is the quality stuff. The rest of the stuff, I don't know, maybe it would speed grow. Whatever, I'm just going to plant my seeds here and not worry about it too much. Okay, and then we'll go to our gifting chest. Nope. Livia uh, quest. Okay, so I'll put those that wine in there, and then we're, we're good. Um... Need to probably grab at some point some fruit trees as well. Not an emergency though, really. Um, no, I want to put these in here. We'll just make something with the beans. Um, how are we doing with our stuff here? Four uh, pieces of jade in the crystallarium. That's good. And how are our, our critters doing today? Oh, oh, they're spicy. Why is that? Did they... Oh gosh, I forgot it was raining all those days. And that this isn't a deluxe coop. <laughs> I'm so sorry, critters. That's terrible. I recorded a bunch in a row here too, so... that you're not going to have milk. Oh, you do, you do have milk. I'm so sorry. It's an insult to injury. They're like... <laughs> fine. It's it's gonna be very spiteful milk. They're gonna they're just like yeah, I do not want to give this to you, you big silly goose head. All right, that's I respect that I understand. So let's go see how everything was happening here with this whole mess. Um, so the worm bin bubbling along. Things were processing. Um. Oh, yeah, again, I don't... Oh, uh... Boop, boop. 
So maybe I need to do that just to make sure that, again, there's probably more elegant chains. I could put the... So there's nothing else to recycle here. That's fine. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it does a great job with the amount of refined quartz and stuff we get out of this in the long run. And coal and whatnot. Uh, it's just whether the... Yeah, this, this bug stuff will go directly in. And whether I have enough... Uh, I'm going to put all three of them there and just see what happens. <laughs> I suspect it should work. Um, and then I'll eventually move some of them into town, I think. Okay, so let's go give the kitty cat some water. Not cheese off all the animals. Do we have any storming? Nope. No batteries yet. Pamela. How you doing, Pam? Are you friends with Gus? He's a pretty good guy. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, I don't have any pale ale. Okay, here you go. You did good with this one, kid. Thanks. Oh, oh, they're having a... Oh no, it's, it's an intervention again. Oh, I'm so tired of interventions. Hey, Sophia. Oh, uh, hi, Mod Hodge. Hey, how are you doing? Uh-oh. Um, I've been better. Why are you asking? I should do something to cheer up Sophia. What, do you want pet dusty with me? Are you hungry? We can get food at the sun. Let's go get food. Food? Um... I'm a little hungry. Yeah, I can go for a bite. Crampled an orange chicken, please. Of course, Sophia. Anything for a close family friend. I'll try something new with this dish. I'll let you, uh, hope you enjoy it. Food is on the house, Mod Hodge. Oh, that was nice of him. Sophia gobbled up her food quickly. We both left the saloon with stomachs full and laughter. Uh oh, I wonder what was wrong. That, uh, you can't help but feeling concerned. Um, okay, I'm just gonna put, I don't want to crack any geodes today. Yeah, that's, uh, it's interesting. I'm very curious about that character. Uh, she's very well, um, a very well drawn character. But it, it does make you want to find out well, how to be helpful, which is, uh, I think games at their best do, when, when they encourage empathy or when they kind of inspire empathy in the player, I think that's when, to me, when games are succeeding, they're, uh, or at their kind of what they are most capable of, their finest. I think they, uh, a lot of what games do, um, to me, is often not interesting. Like I, I find a lot of what games do. Sometimes uh, either... Oh, did we do the quest? We did it. Okay, who do I need to go see? Willie. Oh, perfect. So I, I can just do this in town. Good. I often find games are, like, not... I don't know. They don't go deep enough, I guess. It, there, there's a lack of emotional resonance in them. They're technically interesting, and they, they do cool stuff. But they sometimes don't go far enough in... You know... I don't know. <laughs> it's a hard thing to... They... they Yeah, they just aren't emotional enough, I guess, is what it is. Like, the story beats and the whole... You know, they, they, you can do fun things or interesting things, but... How many, you know, Stardew likes uh, are just mechanically adept, but kind of emotionally inert? Um, that's a thing I think about. <laughs> I don't know. Hello, I hope your new farming life is panning out as you'd hoped. Well, that's thoughtful, buddy. Uh, here, I've got a gift for you. Got an irradiate. This, you better love this one, my dude. This is a beautiful gift. Thank you. You betcha, bud. Let's go put our stuff in the, the chum bin here. Ugh. Okay, and uh, 3,000 for that. That's nice. 
Final day. <laughs> oh man, I it's this is not gonna happen. It's just that's killing me. <laughs> so close, Seagull. We were so come back. We were so close. Uh, right here. At any rate, I I do find yeah uh, games that try to do. Um, I, I think we see a lot of games that try to be a starter, and they try to like, you know, I think they hit technical notes, like they hit a core game loop, and they like they do things that are technically stardew like. You know, they um, they give you a lot to do. I I don't always find that they give you meaningful tasks, and I don't know that I care about the tasks all the time. But, uh, oh, uh, farm, there we go. Um, it, like, it, they, they carry on with the idea of almost being, like, a decent photocopy, but, like, not a great photocopy. I don't know if that makes sense. How's it going? Oh, hey, hot stuff. On your way to the mine? You should take this. I found one the other day and they're strangely delicious. It's all about the fried eel. All about that fried eel. Hey, Evelyn. Oh my, it looks wonderful. Thank you. You betcha. Um, Mayor, what's up? I've been Mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years. 20 years too many. You need to... Uh, this town... Uh, we need a... Uh, we need a wild card. I think that's what we need for mayor. Wild card for mayor. That's what I'm going to vote for. Um, at any rate, yeah, I think there's there's a lot of games that you know keep you busy and they provide a lot of things to do. And there's you know they check a lot of the boxes that we expect from these kinds of games, but there's a little bit missing, and the it's that little bit of heart. <laughs> I don't know, or that the storytelling is not. You know, um, yeah, it's just, it's, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I, not to knock other games, it's just, it's weird to, I think sometimes it just don't have that feeling that, uh, it's like, it's like it's not a bad photocopy necessarily. I think there's good intent often with other games, but they don't, um, connect in the same way with the player. Uh, they're, again, maybe just emotional maturity. They're not ready to tell those stories. I don't know what it is. And anything here. And anything here. Yeah, so we're getting those fried eels. That's nice of them. Put the yam in here, I guess. I'm kind of loitering around waiting for that to see if we can finish that quest. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. So what I should do is I should go out by Olivia's house and, uh, you know, we'll go see if we can do anything. I have a funny feeling that's not going to end today. That's, that's uh, a bummer. Uh, let's go to town. Oh, wait, it's, she's in town. I keep thinking she's out in the other area. All right. Yeah, at any rate, I, I don't know. I, I think I just, I found so few games that have come up to this level that uh, that feel like as good as stardew and i think it, it's often just disappointing you don't take days off do you i certainly don't want to distract you from your work go on with your errands <laughs> it's so kind of condescending go on with your errands little man <laughs> do your thing uh what if we gifted her she likes coffee okay this is so thoughtful of you sweetie thank you Wow, this house is so excessive. Right, and where was I? Am I looking at the wrong thing? Olivia's cabinet in her cellar. Where are the... Oh, it's over here. Ah, boy, I would have been... Oh, laundry room. I would have been freaking out, I think, if I was trying to do this on the last day. Where is her cellar? Where is your cellar? I, dude, your cellar is... Oh, it's over here. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, 
some high-end groceries. I guess if we lose what we have, it's not the end of the world, but like... Uh, beach town. I guess, okay, I'll take my stuff from the big barn. Farmhouse. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then yeah, we have uh, a lot of wine here. That's not gonna be it. Do you want to be a starfruit? You can be a starfruit wine if you think hard enough, right, starfish? Starfish is like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. You're weird. Please leave me alone, okay? Just trying to hang out with my friends here. You're just being strange. Um, okay, what else do we... Oops. Right. Yeah, I'll have to keep more of this coffee on hand. Uh, that's really it. Wow, okay, so we burned through all that. Now we're just making the salmon berry wine. That's fine. It's probably going to go through that pretty quick as well. Oh, I should have given Willie some mead while I was down there. He would have enjoyed that. Um, right, we have... Uh, yeah, we got tons of gifts. There's no excuse to not be gifting everybody kind of to the max at this point. I think we're definitely, uh, we're well on the gift train. Okay. Now the tree stuff, you know what, I will move. Crab pot, chest, wooden stone. We'll put it here, because I'm collecting stuff. I'm going to want it there. These are kind of all out of whack now, aren't they? Processing, uh, kegs, gift, forage, crafting. I wish I could hit that crafting uh, table from here. <laughs> That'd be nice. Okay, uh, what do we have here? What's this note say? Jenkins, order manifest. Oh, did we already see this? One, one before bottles of grappled on plum wine. Now, uh, just out of curiosity, we can't put any other wine in here, can we? No. I thought, you know, maybe we could, like, give a substitute. But she would know, ultimately. I uh, My concern is, like, now that I'm in the house, I want to stay in the house. Can I... Oh, look at that. Sign. Ang a, ankle, B, F Okay, what are we doing? Victor's working on something. Yes. Something. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't know what he's creating. I'm sure it works out to something. Hey, dude, uh, what's your what's your secret uh, thing doing there? Did I give you a gift today? Okay, no, I didn't. Uh, hi. So, like, <laughs> what are you doing in my house? This nice library they have. I, I would enjoy this kind of a library. It'd be kind of nice. It's like, I don't know, several thousand bucks. It's a cozy little home. It's warm up by the fire. This fireplace is huge. <laughs> Can I just have a seat? I can't even. Uh, I was wanting to have a cup of coffee and a, and a little sit down while we're waiting. Oh, again, I get all excited when I see that, and then it's it's not uh, what we're looking for. No. <laughs> okay, let's. Where's my shipping van? There we go. Let's put this uh, mayonnaise in there. All right. Yeah, I, I don't feel like it's going to have... Oh, it's killing me. And I don't think there would be, like, like points for getting close. So, like, Olivia, it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. I don't know what uh, what I did. I, I cheesed off the... Uh, but is it none of your friends? Is it... Do you have plastic wrap on all of it? Hey, hello? <laughs> it's, uh... I want, I want to, like, you know, have a sit down here and... Dining table is built in Grampleton. Okay. What else do we got going on? The microwave has a pizza flavor hot pocket in it. Victor may have forgotten it. Wow, this is a Garland series electric range stove. You open the fridge and find a pack full of expensive food bought from Pierre's General Store. It's an Algren stainless steel sink. I like that. Those are like that's the stuff she would care about. This Gotoron cabinet has china dishes decorated with the pattern of the Gotoro Empire on display. Oh, uh, don't know how. I don't know, yeah, how we're supposed to read. Uh, that is an odd one in this game. How do we read the Katora Empire? I don't know. N Nindo Power, Volume 9. Butterfly House. It's got all the systems. Victor has a Go Station 1 and a Super Nindo Entertainment System. 
Nice. Oh, he's got a uh, cheat code here. He's playing some Contra. Uh, managerial accounting, corporate applications. You, you notice many notes in the book. It feels like Olivia has read this extensively. Fundamentals of electrical engineering and electronics. Mechanical engineering reference manual. You uh, open the book and realize you don't know anything. Ecology and environment, a plain view of life. Managing iridium quality wine in your cellar. There's some ripped pages in this book. The book lover's guide to wine. Strategic stock trading, making your money work for you. How to make money in stocks, a winning system, good times or bad. 53 reasons to buy Jojo stock. Elves, dwarves, goblin sponsors, arcane volume, study 12. You notice a ripped piece of paper wedged between two books. Secret wine fermentation of the Katora Empire. Oh, what is that? Mystical Creatures of Stardew Valley, first edition. The, Isle, the first slash, Monster Hunter Clan of Fern Islands. The book cover of this book depicts five people with blue cloaks. These must be adventurers from across the Gem Sea. Stories of the Smolano by M. Jasper. This book talks about the dwarves that used to live in the Corneal Mountains over a thousand years ago. What is that ripped page thing we just found? You notice a ripped piece of paper waiting between two books. Secret wine fermentation. Like, so nothing I can do about that? Does that... Hmm. Be nice if that would like make my wine ferment faster. <laughs> That's interesting. Like, does it? I guess it doesn't do anything. That's a weird one. Okay, so oh, I, we've maxed out Emily as well. All right, so we got Clint, Emily. So we're going Sam, Robin, Mayor, Pam, all the basics. Um, yeah, we got to keep on. We're we're doing okay, I think. I think especially now that we're getting the farm and everything kind of under control. It's shifting us into uh, the relationship building aspect more, which is kind of nice. Um, and we just need to get that fishing level up. Yeah, I was curious here. Secret notes now. Um, M. Jasper's book. Yeah, no. <laughs> Weird. What else do we have going on in this gigantic house? No messages. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I checked for them. Whoa, look at this bathroom. The toilet has a flush button instead of a handle. Hello? Hello? The door is made out of solid glass. It's a spa bed. An assortment of creams and lotions fill the space underneath. Can I have a shower while we're... I've been kind of busy murdering stuff all the time, so... It would be nice to clean off now and again. You're not good enough friends with the living. Oh no, we, we're like blocked at the threshold. It's like an invisible barrier. Him though, I can come and bug him. Hey buddy, how's it going? What do you got in here? To satisfy your curiosity, you take a peek in Victor's dresser. He has boxers with hearts on them. It's been a year since I graduated from Pelkar University with my engineering degree. I'm not sure what I want to do with my life. I was offered an internship in Zuzu City at a well-known company, but I turned it down. I never told mom. She would be furious if she found out. I need more time to think about what I want to do. Not what others want. Oh, higher engineering mathematics. Wow, so he's he's turned down a life to live here. Victor's computer is password protected. <laughs> computer hardware for applications, third edition. Fun of calculus, critical thinking. This is the miniature G40 TV. It's another Super Nindo system. Victor has two. <laughs> I love these details. These are fantastic details. Uh, it, it totally adds a whole uh, kind of interesting veneer to everything. Okay, well, I guess that's that. I guess we give up on that quest. That's a bummer. We are one bottle away. Ah, that really, really is unfortunate. I, I had high hopes that maybe at the end of the day. Again, I don't remember when we popped the things in the keg. I do feel like it was earlier in the day, which makes me feel like it should be done early and not uh, at this late hour. Is there any... I guess we can check the D shelves. Majestic Archipelago of the Fern Islands. Stardew Valley, top tourist locations. The cover art is the summit here in the valley. Legends of Monsters, Tales from Castle Village. This book in particular interests you. You take a peek at several pages. Hmm. Talks about many adventurers and their feats in slaying monsters, keeping the desert sand safe. Venturing into Corneal Mountain by Marlon Fay. Oh... Corneal Mountain. Where is, where is that, I wonder? By Marlin. 
So he's he's written a text about adventuring. We should have guessed. I mean, isn't this a dream house? I think that's what we've got here is the like, you know, little coffee nook. Oh my gosh. Place to just sit and read. What a dream. Okay, I think that's it. I think I'm going to give up. Well, that was something. I, I had hopes, but uh, they were crushed. You know what you need right now? A cup of coffee. Thank you. I really don't want to work today, but Mars said I have to. Clary, you got to go home. You're on autopilot right now. It's uh, It's been a long day. It's been a long, long day. Well, at least we got the slime quest done. That's good. And we got all our stuff here. So we definitely got to get more goods to put in here. This is now, uh, well, I guess once with that star fruit start, starts coming up, I think we might have a weird little dead zone after it burns through the salmon berries. <laughs> um, nothing to cook in here, huh? We got lots of coal and uh, I am out of stuff. And uh, I don't know if that, again, blackberries, I'm assuming I want to jam that. Cherries, maybe cherries want to be Put in maybe I'll make cherry wine. Put cherries in here, sure. Alright. One last peek. Well that was that was so close. I bet you anything we have wine tomorrow, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna scream into the void. Well not not at the void that we we're supposed to birthday gift today, but at the other void. Alright, we'll see you all next time. Till then, bye bye.